Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to do a, um, a run over the John Deere Model A oil pump and uh, um, passageway valves and everything else. Uh, this is quite a complicated setup if you think about it. It doesn't need to be quite so complicated, but I took it all out. Trying to find any variables that might be causing it. So, let me go through the order first. Here's your filter. Alright, so you're underneath the tractor. You pull this off. This is what houses the, <clears throat> houses the oil filter that I just pulled off here. And here's your gasket. It goes on top of that, like that. And then uh, you'll find this in between your oil filter. This is the threaded rod that goes all the way up to this. Goes all the way up to this. It actually runs through this. So uh, let's see here. Um, which way does that sit? Oh, I think it sits just like that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Well, anyways, the rod comes up through the center of this hole. Comes up through the center of this hole and into this. It actually screws into this hole here. And this thing is all bolted together through the three holes here. And uh, it's quite a pain. There's a gasket that goes in between here. That would be this. It's broken, but I'll get a new gasket for that. So that's your uh, oil valve or whatever the heck you want to call it. Distri distribution black. This thing goes in the center hole here where the shaft is. The shaft. It's hard to explain, but um, the gasket goes, or this, this is the bottom end, yeah. Yeah, something like this. Okay, if you're sitting in the driver's seat looking this way, um, this goes to your clutch side main bearing. This goes off somewhere else. I don't know. And this comes up through the oil pump. And then this gasket here that I was talking about actually goes around this and it seals this. So you take this, you line up, you line up this here with this right here. So. That's all one unit. Here's your adjustment screw for oil pressure, which didn't really seem to do anything for me, but there it is. There, on this side of the tractor, clutch side, just on the right side of the clutch, there is a I don't know, 9 16 or 5 8 square bolt plug, and you pull that off, and then you can fit a big flathead screwdriver right here, twist that. The adjustment for the oil pressure, I have not well hold on a second, um, I would assume tightening in is probably raising, raising the oil pressure, not sure, whatever. Moving on, here is the oil pump. This is what you're going to find on the bottom of the tractor. Next to the oil filter canister. The screen goes on top. Something like that. And it goes down further actually, but anyways, you get the idea. 
this connects on here like that. This end connects into this. I don't know if it makes any sense, but whatever. And here's the gasket. The bigger outside gasket is for this, this plate, which is secondary, because then the other plate, this plate, is what you pull the bolts off of first, initially. Didn't mean to do that, it's just oil. <sighs> well, anyways. Let's do a rundown one more time. You're doing your oil filter on the John Deere Model A. Pull this off. One quarter inch wrench will pull this off here. Then you have your gasket that goes around that. Your oil filter. Stud in between the oil filter. That does not come out. It needs to be straightened though. This. Looking up underneath. This goes just like this. When you're looking up from underneath the tractor. Oil filter touches the top and seals it. Tighten it too much. And it's blocking off these passageways that are on the sides of this thing. Can't see because there's no light in this room. So that's that. Okay. Next up is the oil pump. This is the main gear. Or the idling gear. Idling gear rests on this. Got that. Main gear. And it has a um, coupler. Coupler is a half inch square. That goes through this. You get the idea, it goes down there, the gears intermesh. This thing goes all the way up to um, the cam, yeah, somewhere around the cam. Can't explain it. Comes up through this hole, and then uh, this thing is over the top like that. You got two lines coming out. One's probably going up to your um, oil pressure gauge. This one's probably coming from or a return line. I don't know. This is your elbow which goes over here to this. That's probably the main uh, source pumping line. The big gasket that goes around here is this. Smaller gasket is actually this piece. You can see the circles that goes around the circles. Da, 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 da. You get the idea. It wasn't too hard to pull the oil pump out. Although these lines were a bitch, can't do much about it. Uh, I hope that help helps somebody out. I know I was looking for answers. This book sucks. Don't buy it. It's a piece of junk. Don't go through what I had to go through. So all in all, I hope this helps somebody else other than me. Thanks for watching. Ask me any questions if you have any. Uh, this is for Bronco Dave. Thanks for watching.